Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Virtual Reality China. Today we're here in Suzhou. Since ancient times, this place has been famous for its exquisite and elegant Suzhou gardens. In this video, we're going to walk into Suzhou's top garden, the humble administrator's garden. You may find the name very strange. In fact, it is related to the experience of the garden's first owner. In 1513, a Ming Dynasty official called Wang Xianxian returned to his hometown of Suzhou after retirement and built this garden. He had once served as an imperial censor, but his career was unsuccessful and he was repeatedly demoted by the emperor. So, with a touch of self-deprecation, he named the garden the Humble Administrator's Garden. In fact, before Wang Xianxian bought the land and started building the garden, the place was still in ruins. It used to be a temple during the Yuan Dynasty, but was later destroyed due to years of war, leaving behind only an ancient well, the one we see now. It took Wang Xianxian 16 years to build the garden, and he also invited Wen Jingming, one of the four great talents, to participate in the design. After the garden was completed, Wen Jingming painted 31 paintings, corresponding to the 31 beautiful scenes in the garden, which became a legend for a long time. At that time, people also called the humble administrator's garden the most famous garden in Suzhou. However, Shortly after Wang Xianxian's death, his son lost the opulent garden in a gamble. In the following centuries, the garden changed hands several times. In the late Qing Dynasty, Suzhou was occupied by the Taiping Rebellion. At that time, one of the generals of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, King of Loyalty Li Xuqing, lived in the small two-story building on our left. By now, you should have noticed some of the characteristics of Suzhou Gardens. Compared with the grand-scale royal gardens in the north, Suzhou Gardens tend to be more delicate and compact. The owners of the gardens simulate the natural environment in a limited space, so that you can enjoy the wildness even in the center of a bustling city. Water is the soul of Suzhou Gardens. The builders of these gardens excelled at utilizing water, with structures constructed alongside tranquil water surfaces, which enhance their elegance. Additionally, pavilions and bridges divide the water, creating intricate and unique scenery. Besides the overall landscapes, there are many smaller design elements within the garden that are quite captivating. For example, the windows we see now feature a shape known as ice crack patterns, adorned with plum blossom motifs. There are many such details to discover, so be sure to take a closer look. In the centuries after Wang Xinchen's death, subsequent owners rebuilt and divided the humble administrator's garden many times. As a result, the garden today has become different from the original. The present humble administrator's garden is divided into three parts, the east, the middle, and the west, with the highlights mainly concentrated in the middle and west gardens. The building we are in now is called Yuanxiang Hall, and it is the main building in the central garden. Here, you can find exquisite furnishings in the classical Chinese style, which often reflect the aspirations of the owner. On the way to the Western Garden, we will see such a small stupa made of stone in the water. As a matter of fact, it was erected in memory of some female family member who had drowned here. The place where we are now is called the 36 Mandarin Ducks Pavilion, named after the 36 Mandarin Ducks kept in the pond outside. This was the place where the master held banquets and listened to operas. The building is divided into two halves by a screen in the middle, and this style of building is called Sisters Hall. The other house at the back of the screen is called the 18 Mandala Flower House, named after the camellias planted outside the windows. Notably, 
A number of hollow echo chambers have been designed underneath the floor, while the roof above is curved so that the owner can enjoy better acoustics while enjoying the opera. There are also two ear rooms on either side of the building. The window decorations here are said to be made of stained glass imported from France, reflecting the fusion of Eastern and Western architectural aesthetics. Currently, an exhibition of potted plants is also being held in the humble administrator's garden. Potted plants were also a popular decoration for the Chinese literati. Constructed and tended by skilled florists, these plants were well suited to be placed on tables or in courtyards for the enjoyment of their owners. It was also a wisdom of the ancient Chinese to preserve the vitality of nature in a limited space. Today, the humble administrator's garden is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A large number of tourists come here every year to experience the charm of Suzhou Gardens. Of course, there are many other wonderful gardens in Suzhou, but if you only have enough time to visit one, come to the humble administrator's garden. Well, that's all for today's journey. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. This is Virtual Reality China, and we'll see you in the next video.